Well, it's all systems go for the health care exchange bill to provide a new online market for health insurance. The Minnesota Senate gave its final approval last week. The bill will give uninsured residents a new way to shop for health coverage. Hannah Tran gathered local reactions from both sides, which remain deeply divided. Unlike many other states, Minnesota decided to create their own health care exchange plan. The issue uh, really is whether that exchange will be a one-size-fits-all federal exchange or whether it will be a Minnesota-designed exchange. A website will be created to help the uninsured shop for health coverage at competitive rates. It's, it's more organized, and that's the idea, is, is that p uh, consumers will have the ability to you know, shop this exchange and compare plans right next to each other side by side. The online health care exchange can be compared to websites like Expedia or Travelocity. The idea is to compare and contrast different entities and companies in a consumer friendly way. The purpose of the exchange was, was to say we want to find a place where people can shop for their health insurance and make it easier for the consumer, but it's going to cost more. Gazelka sees this as a costly move and an unnecessary additional layer of government in a market that's already in place. The projected cost increases are going to be 29% or higher because there's a number of taxes that come that go straight to the federal government on all the health policies. They're now going to be taking an extra tax. Radinovich disagrees and sees reductions in the long run. 70% of Minnesotans who use the exchange will, will see a reduction in premiums. Uh, a family of four making you know, approximately $90,000 will see a decrease in their premium by $500. A new state office will also be established to oversee this website. Well, the board is, is made up of seven people, and none of the people on the board can have an, a, a current experience in the insurance industry. But Radinovich says this addresses the issue of conflict of interest. It's not as if we can't have people who have experience on this board. It's that we can't have people who, you know, one week take a check from the insurance industry, the next week take a check for serving on the board. I mean, that's the type of conflict you want to avoid. Universal health care is a shared ideal, but the means to provide that access is a fork in the road. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. The board is a small agency of administrators, human service officials, consumer advocates, stakeholders, and others with experience related to the industry. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.